I'm extremely pleased to be launching the Clean Cooking Programme um, this afternoon, which builds on a really successful pilot within the e-cooking sector that really the UK had the fortune to be able to support, partnering with Loughborough University. And as, as we are seeing today, and I think we're learning today, it's a really a technological leap forward towards sustainable energy solutions, better health, as well as environmental conservation and tackling actually the cost of living as well in our countries. It is a remarkable win, 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 win. It's one of those moments where I really think we have found something that is going to make a real difference. But my thanks go also, of always, to the government of Uganda. And actually none of this would be possible without the leadership of the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. If you can be able to cook meat at, a, uh, at, at 0.4 units, it means that you are going to be using less than 400 shillings to have a complete meal of meat. Now, we need to take this message and tell our people who use charcoal of 4,000 to cook those dishes that we are able to save a lot of money uh, by adopting electric cooking. And so actually, we're also delighted today to be announcing that the UK support to build on the success, we're going to continue it. We're rolling out into that phase two. We want to establish together with the ministry a high impact clean cooking unit within the ministry to drive and coordinate, uh, support them to coordinate this delivery of this. We're going to set some ambitious targets for us that we will support the ministry to deliver, which will focus on um, establishing a nationwide supply chain here in Uganda of at least 10,000 high quality electric cooking appliances across the country. We're going to specifically focus on 6,000 households within the informal settlements to ensure that we're actually including everyone in this journey towards clean cooking, as well as building partnerships with local communities to ensure that this change that we are starting is sustainable. The subject of clean cooking should be very close to our hearts, all of us. We must get annoyed. You can't fight when you are laughing. You have to get annoyed and fight, right? You have to get annoyed and fight. So we have to get annoyed. You remember how my sister, who used to follow me, died. The girl coughed from year four, and she died at uh, 27. Coffee. Coffee. The effect of the soot, CO2. I started adding one on one. It could have been the cause. So really, the problem is with us. We must get annoyed and fight it. The negative consequences are for real. Enough is enough. After all, charcoal is too expensive. You can virtually cook anything. Anything on the electric pressure cooker. This one, it can either depressurize by itself, or you can depressurize it slowly. But either way, if the pressure is still so high inside, it will not open. And the beauty of it all is you do not need to bubble suit the suit. Okay? I could have spot stone in the middle of the cycle here. I mean, by the time I go back in the evening, it will be there. Well, if you own a smartphone and you are connected to the power, there is no reason why you should be having a check when you know. My eldest daughter is just 13 years. So with all the fears, cooking with um, either LPG or charcoal, then you're stuck. But uh, now what I do, I just set my EPC, time it, and then go to work. I call her, and uh, because it's time, when the food is ready, it will automatically switch off. So I'll call her and tell her, check in the EPC, the food is ready. So as uh, a working mother, it has really, really changed my life. I tested uh, sweet potatoes, meat, uh, beans, and matoke. Uh, they all cooked very well. They were quite tasty. I found that beef to be so tender. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us today. I know you're going to do great things for Uganda on clean cooking. And as the UK government, as the British High Commissioner here in Uganda, we are just very grateful to play a very small part in that journey. Thank you.